What's up dudes, this is my Monocetropus Balfouri, aka Socotra Island Blue Baboon. So this is its setup and it's in a bioactive setup full with plants, a bit of photos, a bit of wild plants in there. I have custom made background, I have skull, I have a water dish in there, some sticks and branches. But not some substrate, which is coco peat, some moss, which turn exactly like the coco peat already. I don't know why I dry it out. It's been there for like, I don't know. This was set up like three, four weeks, ago, maybe a month ago. So this is my Socotra Island Blue Baboon. Reason it's called Monocetropus balfouri, Socotra Island Blue Baboon, is because it came from the islands of Socotra. So, for these kind of species, they can live communally, which means they can live together in a group, which most tarantulas can't do. Obviously, tarantulas they're a bit cannibalistic, so they might eat eat each other, cause they kind of think. The other person, uh, the other tarantula is food. So, yeah. So as you can see, zoom in closer. The carapace is a bit of a pale whitish color, and on the legs, it's supposed to be blue. But this girl, she hasn't molted for like about I don't know since I got her. This is kind of my second tarantula. Other than my Grimmastella Pucrips, but other than the Grimmastella Pucrips, this is she's like a old world. The Grimmastella was new worlds, the one the mine in the previous video. So, so let me go. But oh, there's also a prop skull in there. Got this in the party shop, painted it out, jammed it in there, make that cool thrill look cool. So yeah, these kinds they're more like of a fossorial to me, or a burrower. Cause take a look at the tunnels they made, you know. Oh, it's only one though. I didn't keep like communal or something like that. So there's like a hole there, a hole there, and guess what? There's another one right beneath the bum. So these are heavy webbers, like really, really heavy webbers. Take a look at that. Anchored up hole of webs. Reason I put plants in here is because these kinds, they don't really go out. So for like most kinds, they go out and destroy the plants and stuff. But for these kinds, it's pretty cool because it only mainly goes out at night. The only time I've only seen it like once or twice, like lurking out at night. It really won't go out during the day, though. So there you go. But I think when it molts, you would probably see a bit of blue in that black. For tarantulas, the the longer they stay during pre-molt, like before molting. The color gets very easy, so maybe she's gonna molt, maybe she's not, but she's been eating well. Feeding it crickets, mealworms, uh, yeah. I won't go for those big, big stuff like rats or you know, mice, baby mice, and stuff like that. Kinda cruel though. So, yeah, there's a water dish there. So, this is its setup. For Monocetropus balfouri. Oh yeah, I had to poke it out for you guys because, you know, she's like way down there. Oh yeah, by the way, she's a confirmed female, so they practically live up to 15 to 25 years. Oh no, no, I'm sorry, uh, 20 years. So she's about 6 years now, so yeah, a lot of years to go. <laughs> so here you go. Now last look at it. Said to said to be that she is full grown, but I'm not that sure. Gotta do my research a bit more.
still new to the hobby. But yeah, this is my Monster Service Bell 40. Do like and subscribe, guys. Thank you.